Hey everybody, this is Shane Armin Rowe, and today we're going to look at something you probably never thought you would need, some way of putting an optical drive back onto your computer. Let's take a look. With streaming services getting out of hand and everybody trying to dip their hand into your pocket to get a little bit of the gold, we are seeing a resurgence of physical media. DVDs, Blu-rays, even old discs you had laying around may not be even accessible to you anymore because the last PC you bought didn't have an optical drive. After all, who needs them anymore? Well, the chances are likely you probably still have one of these guys laying around just like me. And this is the LG Blu-ray drive. It's fantastic. It's pretty cheap and it gives you access to ripping Blu-ray movies, playing back your physical media, even getting into 4K stuff. But of course, the problem is, is you may be on a laptop now. You may be on a PC that has no slot for one of these guys. We're going to bring in a product that can help you make this a little more palatable. And that is the Nexstar DX USB 3.0 external enclosure for SATA, Blu-ray, and media drives. So this little guy right here is an enclosure. It costs you about 45 bucks from Amazon. And I had it next day shipping, so it was great. This little guy is going to make this guy a lot more comfortable to use with your current PC or laptop. So I've already opened this guy up, so I'm not going to put on the facade of doing a full unboxing. But inside, you're going to find a couple of things. You're going to find, unfortunately, a rather proprietary power supply. Standard brick, standard sort of tip, but you don't have these laying around if you ever need to replace them sort of a standard USB 3.0 drive cable, and of course the unit itself. And again, I've already unwrapped it once, but this is what you get in the box along with a small instruction sheet, which after this video, you're not gonna need. So here it is, this looks huge. Uh, we're used to seeing hard drive enclosures and small drive enclosures much, much smaller than this, but after all, you do gotta put one of these in here, so I guess it makes sense. So this guy is everything that you need to get this drive, this uh, any sort of optical drive, as long as it's SATA, into this container, which will easily connect via USB cable right to your PC. So if you look here, there's a big giant opening where you stick the drive. We're gonna open this guy up. There's not much going on on the outside. On the back, you'll find a uh, power cord along with the USB connector and a helpful power switch, which is helpful but you may find it's not even necessary. And I'll tell you about that in just a minute. Sort of an interesting little hidden gem that I found out, which is really neat about this particular enclosure. Uh, it comes with a total of six screws, four to mount your drive and two to mount this back cover. Let me grab the screwdriver here and I'll pop this guy open for you. Uh, so again, this will take any sort of SATA drive. I guess technically, if you were in a bind, you could shove a hard drive or other SATA device in here if you were so inclined, but it's really made for, it's really made for an optical drive. All right, so once the screws are off, the back comes off very neatly, and you just slide this top piece off, all metal by the way, so it's durable, probably a little bit of heat dispensing going on there, and this is it. I mean, the whole secret is what's on the inside, right? So as you can see in here, there's a small controller board, a on off switch, which is wired along the side to take you up to an LED on the front and your standard SATA power and SATA connector. All right, so this is remarkably easy. You certainly don't need any instructions as long as you have some general idea of how this stuff works. Slide the unit into the front. Before you put it all the way in, connect these two guys right here. Make sure they're nice and firm, which they are. And we're just gonna slide this on in. We're gonna put this cable down a little bit. Just make it a little more comfy for the top to go on. And then you can see on the front that you can align it so that it fits nice and flush or however you would like it to be. If you'd like it to extrude a little bit for whatever reason, the uh, slots on the side can accommodate that. As you can see, the screw holes allow a little bit of flexibility. I, I tend to like mine more a little on the flush side. So we'll put the screws in and we'll probably jump ahead because uh, putting screws in is sort of boring. But let's put the screws in and then um, we'll take a look at what it looks like once it's all hooked back up. So we're all done. The only thing that's left to do is put this top on, which there are grooves to help make sure that you align it correctly. You wanna make sure you clear those, those cables right there. And we'll just slide it on down, make sure it's seated. We'll put this little guy back on top. 
Make sure it's all seated and two screws and you're all done. So, um, this is USB 3. You're going to get pretty good throughput from this guy. Uh, it works very, very well. Um, it's only, I mean, listen, there's no fans or anything in here. There's no active cooling going on. So, you don't have to really worry about noise other than what your drive is making. And there we go. We're all set. It looks good. It's well, uh, it's well constructed. And it's about 45 bucks. So, pretty good deal. It can rest on its... Uh, on its uh, spine like this, and it's designed to have this sort of beveled top here to look really, really nice. And most drives, by the way, do have a, a tray catch, a lot of people may not know this, where you can open this up, have it extend out, and then put the disc in, and it holds it in sideways for you to put it in. I don't tend to like to do that because I'm a little sloppy with my discs, and I probably shouldn't be. I prefer to have it in its standard orientation, where there are four little rubber feet included. You put these guys on, I put them on already. And then you have a little bit of a noise buffer as well as um, having this thing not rattling around a lot when the drive is active because it is a mechanical optical drive and it can be a little on the loud side. Again, pretty straightforward here in terms of power. All right, so it's just standard old, plug it in, nothing exciting, plug this guy in. So one of the things that you may be concerned with with this unit, and it's probably worth mentioning, if you're trying to put this like right on top of your computer and just letting it sit on top, probably fine. If um, you're looking to put this a little bit further away, maybe on a shelf next to your desk or something like that, this cable is what, three feet? And it's, it's honestly, it's not very long. You may, you probably don't have this particular type or this particular configuration of cable. Um, sitting around this is like an old printer adapter and cable i can't remember this is a usb b connector i don't remember this is an oddball one though and you probably don't have an extension cable uh suitable or a longer cable so you may want to consider that if you're looking to put this far far away now once you plug this guy in and i could uh, i could put some power in here but i'll show you something rather interesting about this and this is the thing i told you i was going to tell you about let me plug this guy in it is plugged in and the power switch. So light right here. How come the light's not on? Is it broken? Does it not work? Well, there's something really interesting about this particular unit. The power is automatically dropped if it's not plugged in. And you're probably thinking, why would I want that? Wouldn't it be nice if this thing would power up without being plugged in in case you left a disc in, you could just plug it into the power and eject it? True. But how I use this, guys, I plug this into a USB switch. So I have a USB strip that I have all my USB drives connected to, and each one has its own power isolation button. So I can literally isolate it. By using that along with this plugged in and the power on, I can control the power by simply flipping the power on to the USB, hooking it up to the computer. If it's not plugged in, you don't get power, even if it's plugged in to the power outlet. You don't get power if it's not plugged into a PC. For some of you, that may be a weak spot of the product. For me, it was a huge selling point, and I didn't even know that was a possibility until I plugged it in and tried it out. And I'm like, wow, this is exactly the way I would want it, where other people may not like it that way. So you need to be aware that that's uh, one of the either limitations or features of this particular unit. Now we could plug this into the computer and I can show you it operate, but in all reality, you're gonna plug it in, it's gonna look like any other drive and you're just going to use it with whatever software you want. Now, of course, uh, the drive I'm using here is a Blu-ray reader and writer. It's available on Amazon still, it's an Amazon deal. Uh, it's an Amazon bestseller rather. And so um, if you're looking to get into the physical media business, which I am a long time fan of, this, uh, this particular drive will read Blu-ray discs, it'll read um, regular DVDs, right? A lot of things out there that you can't get on streaming. I still don't think you can watch Langoliers anywhere. Maybe V the complete series, but maybe, maybe not. The truth is though, is even if you're a big streaming head and you have a large physical media collection, you may want to rip these guys into the formats that you would like to put on your own Plex server for your own use. There's a huge benefit to being able to control the format, the size and the quality and the bit rate and everything else of the media that you're ripping. And this case, along with this drive, of course, will help you do that. And of course, if you happen to have cool old cover discs from old ancient magazines or something like that, and you want to get access to that stuff, an external drive would serve you well for that purpose as well.
Great unit. Um, it is nice and durable. I recommend it. If you're looking to get into the external uh, drive game, then this is a perfect combo. I'll have links to both of them down in the description, as always. Using our affiliate links, we'll throw the channel a couple of bucks, and we appreciate that. I think you will love this particular collection, even if you've got your own drive. This particular enclosure, and this is the Nexstar DX, and again, we'll have a link for you. It is USB 3, so it's nice and fast, durable, made out of metal. You don't see much of that these days. Most of the sabrins and everything are made out of plastic. Not going to be real durable. This, this guy could survive a fall from your desk, even if the drive inside doesn't. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit that little bell, and you'll get notified of our future videos. I'm Shane Armonroe, and as always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.